first runs from Miss Field. Andy Roberts. Oh, well done. That's beautifully bowled. Gaviscar has gone, the first wicket down, and Andy Roberts in the middle of this great spell of bowling from uh, himself and Joel Garner has taken the first Indian wicket and that really is the one they wanted Gavaskar this great player has gone with the total at two and it's first blood to Clive Lloyd's team well, this was outstanding bowling by Andy Roberts then thousands who are here at Lord's. Got him away again, and that's a beautiful stroke. Picked it up from round about leg stump. quite time it but uh, he's got it away well enough Larry Gomes is the fielder let's pick up three runs there to Armanath but a very good bubbling crowd safety away Cole Backus can't catch that One more to Shrikan. Malcolm Marshall, the bowler. Oh, well played. Fine hook shot by Mohinder Amdat. Well, what a shot. That's the third time he's smashed this West Indian pace attack away to the square leg boundary. This was a quick ball was just on off stump, perhaps middle stump, and magnificently hooked. Marshall slow back, but uh, pretty quick when he comes in. Gomes. It's out. Marshall eventually fires one straight, wicket to wicket, and catches Shrikant playing across the line. Enterprising innings. India would have loved it to have lasted longer. Eventually undone by his own enterprise, I'm afraid. LBW Bull Marshall for 38, and India are now 59 for 2 in the 19th over. Marshall Sharma on 3, holding to bow. Oh, lovely flick of the wrist there. Beautifully timed shot. So, first boundary to Jasper Sharma. Placed it perfectly and just flipped it where he wanted. Goes to resume. And similar sort of shot. Similar sort of result. Four more. And again, he moved his feet nicely, got into a perfect position to find that gap on the offside.
adjustment played there by Ashkel Sharma to bring him a single. goes for 26 clean bowl by Michael Holden which leaves India on 90 for 3 in the 30th over and it's swung again to deep square leg it's just a single Ashpel Sharma doing the trick but he's gone beautifully caught by substitute Logie out there tried to uh, copy the tactics there of Almanath but outside it tried to find that gap on the offside but succeeded on his scan it to a very deep backward point that's short, that's powered away that's beaten Logan this time, four runs. And Sandip Patel picking this short one up very quickly. And getting into a super position to pull that. side cracked off the back foot this time but uh, they'll be happy with the single because that brings up the hundred for India hundred on the board four men out six now to Patel the games has bowled very well for West Indies here said that he's just given away four runs with a rank long pop. This is the danger time for West Indies where Gomes and Richards have to bowl out 12 overs between them. Kapil Dev is taking strike. Again, and this is where India have to try and take charge and have 12 overs in all in which to do it before the quick bowlers come back Kapadev goes to 15 immediate memories of that marvellous 174 he hit against Zimbabwe This time, not waiting for the chance to pick the gap. He's hit it straight down long on his throat. And that is a tragedy as far as India are concerned. They've been trying to get after Larry Gomes. And Go And straight to the man behind square leg, Andy Roberts has struck Joel Garner, has taken a very good catch away to his right hand side Curdy is out, is out without scoring and India now are six down and in awful trouble a six Gone. 
Jabini straight to Joel Garner who's having a pretty good day here bowled superbly this morning and uh, already has two catches to his credit that one at mid-wicket to take that catch so Joel Garner having a good time in the field and certainly Andy Roberts and getting some results out there as well Six more. Not lull this time. And smash Gomes away over midwicket. Fifty up for India and 41 overs almost bold that's in the air got to be out Larry Gomes at uh, mid on and Joel Garner deserved a wicket he bowled so well this morning without any result and here now Sondi Patil has gone for 20 skips down. They'll want two. No, well fielded. Bacchus is the man at deep backward square leg. Bowled him. Malcolm Marshall the bowler. Loving every second of it. That really was a bit of their magical pace as they would say. It beats the field. It gets all the way, so that must have had some power tucked away in it. Oh, what nasty ball. And that struck him on the helmet. can't think that's a rock. Oh, well stuck. And Sandu stands his ground and strokes that one away wide of mid-on. And with some relief, Sandu arrives at the non-striking end. Three runs to him. But well done. Full marks. Yes, I think everyone on the ground, West Indies included, will be applauding Sandu for playing that shot. Again. 
a beautiful way to get off the mark. Then that ball is swung away, but of no great pace. Right to the pitch of the ball. Opens his account with a lovely cover drive. A very enthusiastic crowd, as you'd imagine here. Now there are a few late plane loads arrived from Bombay early this morning. in the support as there always is in the capital city. So Green gets away, thickish outside edge but well controlled. Extra man in the offside for uh, Sandu. And he's bowling, all over the place, no play to shot, thought it was going to swing down the hill, it uh, held its course and came up, and Greenwich has gone. And well, that's a fine early breakthrough for India, disposing of Gordon Greenwich for a single, with only five runs on the board. This one, uh, looking as though it's going down the hill and cutting back up quite sharply. But at least if you're going to let it go, you've got to get your pads over in the way. Short, hooked away, powerfully, four runs, no problem at all. Sandu really cannot afford to drop the ball short to Viv Richards. He's not very quick. And that was dispatched very sharply behind square. <laughs> That's about a ball to play at that. The outswing caught the outside edge. Just leaned into that stroke to pass me off the four. And uh, Richard really does make this batting look awfully easy. Superb stroke this. Beautifully timed. He's not really running. He knows it's going for four. a cheeky shot took that off round about the middle but uh, another typical uh, Richard stroke and that's a double wide I think <laughs> only just managed to get that on the cut strip of the wicket A few old faces. Okay, Lily, Brian close at the back there. Short, hooked, and the obvious result once again. Absolutely lethal on anything short feet move into position so quickly he's raced away to 18 now West Indies marching on at 37 for 1 well Manuel has been picking up his wickets quite steadily and he's driven beautifully wide a bit on glorious stroke again just about to go over the ropes So we've all 
were missing off drives, pulls, hooks, and now uh, a great on drive from Viv Richards. Strokes all around the wicket. Um, let's have some more. One's right to cover. Just by way of a change. Two absolutely superb strokes by Viv Richards. Batting at its best. Richards at Lords, always so impressive. 138 not out in the 79 the pro final here. It's a better length. Still able to pinch the single. So the 50 comes up. 31 of those to Richards, 13 to Greenwich. In the 12th over. And he's gone. Haynes has been struggling there, tried to hit that on the up, never quite there for the drive. And very nicely caught at short extra. Oh, a great problem there for Roger Binney. And the second wicket goes down with 50 on the board. Haynes goes for 13. So Indoor <coughs> disposed of the openers. And uh, here's a welcome sight to West Indian supporters and to uh, very many members here at Lords. They're uh, rising on their feet to pay their tribute and acclaim to Clive Lloyd. So what a formidable combination out there now. Lloyd and Richards. quickly underway this is uh, one day international average is 37 I rather think that uh, his average in test cricket is better and uh, looks as though he's in a bit of trouble he scampered that quick single it looks something around the groin there is uh, a little pull in there and uh, it's a fairly substantial groin too that Richards now to face. Lloyd to carry on. Yes, oh yes, he's in big trouble. He's in real trouble out there. One he just managed to scramble to the other and no way he'll be able to survive without a runner. Oh, what a great tragedy and he's livid about it. Yes, Desmond Haynes has taken Clive Lloyd's place. Clive has gone across to square leg what a great tragedy that is good shot not so good beautifully caught he hit that away to within 15 yards of the boundary and the Indian skipper has done a tremendous job to get back there. Marvellous running catch. And Richards has gone for 33. He was charging through calling Desmond Haynes for two. But didn't quite get it. It would have landed 10 to 15 yards inside the boundary. And Kapildev had a long way to, long way to go to make his ground. India now must sense that they have a little chance. It's been enhanced, just a little slow to move there from the non strikers, and there was a chance of uh, 
misunderstandings when there's a runner out there. It's gone. And look at the Indian players rush to the centre. That is tremendous from India's point of view. Gomes gone, Fort Gavaskar, Bold Mutton Lull. 66 for four, Gomes goes for five, and Lloyd is there, eight not out, but injured. Roger Binney, the bowler. He's gone! Kapil Dev, the skipper, extra cover, Lloyd is caught. 66 for five, and West Indies in total disarray now. India have struck with almost nothing to bowl at, 183 their total, and now the world champion 66 for five. Oh, good throw, brilliant throw. What a tough decision. Shrikant's coming in there very quickly, picking it up, and we'll be able to tell from here. Looks to me as if uh, he might have just been short of the line there, but indeed was. And there's the mini selection committee. Great view of Sandu Tabakas. Reaches Nix, he's called, he's out. Syed Kamani is the catcher, jubilation among the Indian fielders. So Bacchus is caught, Kamani, Bolsandu for eight. Magnificent catch this was. Bacchus reaching at that ball, very wide, big edge, and have a look at those gloves. They were really very wide, the catch taken in front of Gavaska. And so Bacchus out, caught off the bowling of Sandu. Great. Short. Six runs. A low, flat six. The square leg. Yes, and West Indies play that well because where Kapil Dev was, so they pushed the single and brought up the hundred. Billy again. Period of uh, frustration is for India. Well, this must have missed the leg stump by a whisker. Forward, a little inside edge, quite a big gap there. And just missing the leg stump. So still around about two or three and over. And that's the same all the way through. Some uh, cheeky singles being taken, and not times when I do risky ones. Dujon on 25 to face. And he's pulled it on. And he's worked the miracle for India. That's the wicket they desperately needed. Dujon, somewhat unlucky there, tried to pull the bat out of the way, I fancy. Just caught the uh, inside edge and pulled it on. So he goes. 119 now for seven in the 40 second over. Well, funny things happen at this game. Starts to play, decides it's too wide, tries to get his bat out of the way, hits the bottom edge, and into his stumps. Um, great blow for the West Indies. The, the 
trick nearly worked. Moved it down the hill, caught the outside edge. Roberts gets a single. And the edge just thick enough for it not quite to carry. He's edged it this time and he's gone beautifully caught by the Vasquez slip. And that might well be the final nail in the coffin here for West Indies. Malcolm Rice has defended stoutly for a long, long time. Falls another victim to Armanath for 18, leaving West Indies 1, 24 for 8. They've chased these wide ones, the West Indian batsmen. And Sunil Gavaskar making his name as a catcher. Crept up to uh, four and over. The important thing for India is that there's only two wickets left. And uh, a couple of days uh, thinking, trying to work out some of the batsman's mind, changing this field. Clipped away quite nicely by Roberts. Plenty of time to push it through mid wicket for two runs. That's out. Yes. Cuttledale finally gets his just desserts. Andy Roberts falls LBW. No doubt at all in Barry Mayer's mind. He went for four, one, 26 for nine. And India almost there. And again, some slight changes on the offside there this time. Kavaska going out of slip into gully. His bat's not looking uh, quite comfortable at the moment. Going a particular negative on the front foot to everything. out, yes it's all over this time, lost his nerve in the end did Michael Holin, tried to swing that straight ball with the leg, it's another wicket for Almanath and how delighted he looks, 140 all out West Indies, on the margin of their victory, 43 runs, as India race into the pavilion with the Prudential Cup players, tremendous victory, Rank outsiders at 33 to 1 when this competition got underway. And they've beaten West Indies twice, they've beaten Australia, they've beaten England. And they round off a fantastic fortnight by taking £20,000 on the Provincial Cup. Observation here for a couple there to receive the trophy from Lord Carr, chairman of the Prudential Assurance Company. Tremendous performance by this Indian side, and here's a man who's been largely responsible for it over the last two weeks. Skip of the site quite beautifully and made his own contributions with bat and ball. And this provincial trophy thoroughly deserved. <laughs>